Hello, Internet. At the moment, I'm like psycho covering Ben Carson's performance in the most recent GOP CNN town hall debate, which technically took place yesterday. It's now the 18th. It was the 17th when it took place. So, Ben Carson on Apple security, or Apple to fucking help break the security of the San Bernardino fucking terrorist phones. Ben Carson's basically saying, well, people shouldn't trust the government, but there's got to be a relationship, which is basically saying, yeah, Apple should break that shit open. You know what the problem with that is? Apple has already explained why they won't and, like, why they really, really don't want to because they build that for the FBI. That same thing that they built in for the FBI, it's now there. Everybody else to find and exploit the fuck out of. Intentions aside. So, good job, Ben Carson. Christian, uh, on the SCOTUS appointment, Supreme Court of the United States. Uh, his, when asked if he would appoint, he said, Fuck yes, I would absolutely appoint. I wouldn't expect to get anything through, though. Bruh, rah, rah, rah. And then asked on how he would determine who to a fucking appoint, he says he would fucking choose them off of their experience. So tell me, when Obama chooses the fucking nominees of his fucking choice, are the Republicans actually going to take their experiences into consideration? Or are they just going to say, Oh, well, that black president don't went and fucking nominated them, so they are not getting our vote to get fucking approved. Just a question. When asked about why the Christian values and the GOP fucking shit doesn't fucking sync up on social issues... His response is not the government at all. It's, well, uh, we, we have a strong history as citizens of taking care of our poor people. What? If that had been the case, we wouldn't have fucking had to declare the war on poverty, you jackass. The fuck? Uh, he says government is horrible about fucking not fucking helping poverty. Yeah, you know why the government is horrible? Because the taxes that corporations and the fucking super wealthy used to pay... They don't fucking pay them now. The rates are significantly lower. So when the war on poverty was fucking began and shit, the country, as far as the tax base, had a far larger tax base from those corporate interests. Granted, there was a smaller tax base from the lower and middle class, which is now massive in comparison, but whatever. It's all nifty. Apparently fucking the government shouldn't give a good goddamn. We should just let people fucking die in the streets if we don't feel inclined to help them. Obviously, because we know that human beings, when there's, the, when there's someone suffering, human beings 100% of the time will always fucking do something to help it, right? Is, isn't that right? That, that's apparently the GOP's thinking on it. It's not fucking true, but, you know, GOP. Grand old party. Doesn't matter what's in reality or not. Way to go, Ben Carson. You just fucking basically advocated for saying fuck a bunch of homeless people. Good job. Anyway, when asked about if he would fucking be a capable fucking commander in chief and deal with security fucking threats, his basic response is, well, I do believe I can be strong enough because the Constitution calls for citizen statesmen. And these politicians are all fucking idiots. He didn't actually say that part. I'm reading a little bit into it. But he basically put forth the assumption that the politics as established are fucking not working. And he's not wrong. So, I mean, I guess I don't know why the fuck I'm giving him shit on this one. I don't even have a problem with a citizen statesman. I just think Ben Carson's an idiot. Even though he has a degree significantly higher than mine. So, there's that fucking contradiction in my head. I know he's a neurosurgeon, but, uh... Some of the things he says. He was asked on his plan to protect the Second Amendment. And then he fucking mentions, well, its intent is twofold. It's to keep the fucking people so they can defend in the case of a foreign assault. And then, so to make sure they can defend against the tyrannical government. He actually, he actually brought up something that I, I might agree with. We should fucking have the government pay for fucking training for all firearms. I'll go further. If you want to carry a firearm, you should be fucking required to fucking register for a militia, either at the fucking county, city, fucking a local militia. 
You register with that militia, you keep your fucking arms fucking on file with that militia, you're regulated, fantastic. I was just talking about this with a dude on the internet the other day. Perhaps we should adopt a Swiss type system and make all those people who have really big hard-ons to own guns. Hey, guess what? Owning a gun, you carry a responsibility. That puts you in part of the fucking local militia, which means you were actually a part of that military. You were required to fucking show up every once in a while and train to get drilled to make sure you know what the fuck you're doing with your guns and to get comic fucking guerrilla tactics. Because if a mil militia is fighting, they're using guerrilla tactics. That's... I just... That's how things work. But... Yeah, so I kind of agree with him. We need to have classes, but I'd take it a step further. You want to fucking protect your right? That's fine. You own a gun. That's fantastic. What's wrong with you fucking operating in a militia at the fucking county level? Do you not trust your county officials? If you're an active citizen, these are the people you vote for directly. Why would you not trust them? They're not big government. Oh, could it be you just don't want any form of fucking regulation to play with your fucking guns? Could that be it? You just want to have your pewdie pews and not have any regulations? I don't know. He was asked what his big idea was, and this is actually a pretty important big idea. Like, he don't throw people away. He mentioned shitty fucking high school dropout rates, which, dude, high school's not enough. Motherfuckers need college, but I'll get to that later. And then he's, he mentions that the U.S. has 5% of the world's population, 25% of its incarcerated rate. So, his big idea is to not throw people away. Dude, high school isn't really a fucking lot of shit. Like, high school is decent, but in today's economy, high school is not really going to cut it. So, those people are basically thrown away anyway if they can't fucking afford college or fucking get the fucking loans they need to go to college. Uh, somebody asked him if he had accepted an appointment. He said, I'm not looking for a job. And then fucking Gruber mentioned something, well, well, except for this one right here. So, yeah, the answer to that one after he danced around a bit is basically, fuck, no, I'm not going to accept one of their appointments. I'm too good for that shit. Asked if he would, how he would have a positive impact on criminal justice. He, again, 525 fucking world population incarceration rates. And on this one, he, he brings attention to the fact that we're taking our mentally ill, who we used to have institutionalized, and we're throwing them into prisons. I actually agree with Ben Carson on this one slightly. Like, he fucks it up towards the end of it, like he was going off on a nice good spiel and shit, but then he's like, well, we have to get rid of the regulations and shit. No! How about getting rid of a fucking private prison system that fucking incentivizes fucking putting people in jail? Like, that's where I was hoping he was going with that. That's where, it was like, his little bullshit I thought it was leading to. I'm like, hey, maybe this guy has some... Nope, bash the regulations, because the private fucking prisons need less fucking regulations. They're already fucking turning fucking black people into slave fucking labor forces, but we gotta fucking put fucking less regulations on those private motherfuckers. Ooh, he was asked about intellectual property rights while maintaining diplomatic relationships with China and fucking shit like that. And his response, instead of like, well, he didn't answer shit diplomatically. The most diplomatic shit was, well, if they make the mistake of attacking us, I assure you, the United States has fucking attack capabilities of the cyber nature, which this administration fails to use. So as soon as they attack us on my watch, oh, I'd fuck them up. And then he didn't really say shit about actually maintaining diplomatic ties. Like, so he just ignored part of the fucking question. Anyway, he was asked if how he would get fucking his message through a boisterous Democrat, to which he responded, Well, have you ever dealt with children? I'm just basically going to speak softly like they're a fucking child. And if that doesn't work because we have a fucking clown over there who keeps saying fucking everybody needs college, I'm going to be like... Well, Margaret Thatcher said fucking socialism is wonderful until the money runs out. So I guess fucking socialism is how we're paying for fucking all the wars we're fighting, right? Like the Iraq war, that was paid for with socialism, was it not? Like I know it was socialism because it was taxpayer money being paid to private corporations. Like Halliburton, $35 for a fucking plate of food. 
KBR and all that shit ripped off the American taxpayer. That was socialism too, Ben Carson. That was the taxpayers fucking, well, technically not paying for it, just going into debt and having to pay you later. So I guess fucking Margaret Thatcher is right when you fucking run out of money, but I guess when you're fucking taking taxes, you should decide what you should pay your fucking, you should get back for your taxes, and the American people just got ripped off by the Bush administration. Because socialism doesn't work because money runs out. Well, then maybe the fucking management shouldn't spend the money on the fucking wars. I don't know. Crazy idea. Anyway, after that, it basically fucking devolves down to fucking Anderson Cooper. Like, what the fuck, Andy? What the fuck? I, I respect you. Respected? Like, I, I still have, like, a few more parts to this. I hope you fucking improve, but... What the fuck is with these fucking non-fucking mattering fucking personal questions, Cooper? Come on, guy. I don't even blame Ben Carson for this shit. He wasn't the one asking the bullshit questions. What the fuck, Anderson Cooper? What the fuck? Anyway, that's Sly Psycho fucking with his review of Ben Carson's performance in the town hall debate. You guys have a wonderful whatever time of day it is when you're watching this.